Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. Welcome back for another edition of... Yeah, I mean, I guess. Oh, before I forget, if everyone right now could leave a like on the video, uh, I ask because I typically get over 10,000 views per video. Science experiment, if I can get over 10,000 likes, it actually does a lot for my algorithm. Like it actually shows that my videos are popular and it pushes them out there further for other people. That'd be, that'd be grand. So in the news today, um, we're getting this discussion a lot more and I'm not sure if it's organic or I'm not sure if it's like the, the, the masses are kind of thinking and deciding the exact same thing. Uh, Jack Dorsey is in the news today. You should all know Jack Dorsey, the former head of Twitter. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is he's basically like the final boss of, of Bitcoin maximalists. Uh, he believes and has believed for a while that Bitcoin is basically going to be the only currency on the planet within the next couple of decades. It just did that shut off thing again. When I say only, Jack Dorsey believes that other cryptocurrencies and their value will get absorbed into Bitcoin, fiat currencies will collapse, and essentially um, all other asset classes will have to essentially bend the knee to Bitcoin. The idea is, hear me out, remember that um, I, I posted it on Twitter before, it's an old episode from that TV show Million Dollar Listing. Uh, in it, uh, Ryan is trying to sell a house and it gets an offer, but the offer is for 50,000 Bitcoin. Great episode. Go watch it. The issue is, is that the owner doesn't want the 50,000 Bitcoin. They want the 3.5 point, 7 point, whatever million dollars that they had it listed for. The actual offer of 50,000 Bitcoin even comes in lower then the actual asking price for the flat as well, which was also like a gigantic no-no. Years later, people were watching that episode online and people posted on Twitter that that three something or other million dollar asking point would now be billions of dollars in the equivalent of Bitcoin. The idea is, is that if Bitcoin keeps having halvings, which it will, if Bitcoin's demand keeps rising, which we've seen it has over the course of 15 years, more people keep buying, the ETFs keep buying, it gets less, less and less Bitcoin, it gets more and more scarce, that mathematically, essentially, Bitcoin's price has to rise. If people start looking at charts, the reason why a lot of you are in the cryptocurrency space is because of curiosity, but you also came here at some point because you're like, Bitcoin is outperforming every other asset that I've seen out there. Similar to the US dollar. You can look it up online. It's definitely there. The US dollar has lost 99% of its value to Bitcoin. Look it up. 99% of its value over the course of a 10-year period. There are multiple assets that have also done the exact same thing. Housing has done well but it has not kept up remotely even close to Bitcoin. If we get to a $100,000 Bitcoin, if we get to the illustrious $800,000 per Bitcoin, for those of you who do not know, $800,000 is when we pass by the valuation of gold. In the future, or even the, the nowter, if people realize and start looking at these numbers and go, the assets that I bought have gone up by 12% per year. Bitcoin keeps going up by 50% year on year. I should have bought Bitcoin before. Let me buy some Bitcoin now. That's the general idea. We're also seeing Bitcoin spread out rather quickly around the world in what is usually known as developing countries or even countries that have developed but their economic policies aren't doing really well because of corruption. Their currencies are also collapsing and constantly falling. Their interest rates are they keep rising them and lowering them, trying to make some kind of a balance for people to get back into their market or to make their economies attractive enough for people to do business there and no one wants to do business. So we're seeing in a large portion of Latin America and also in Africa, a lot of people are doing 
uh, they're exchanging their fiat currencies for Bitcoin in an effort to kind of have some kind of balance, which is insane because Bitcoin's, you know, the, not the most balanced currency in the entire world. This is the entire idea behind all of this. If we basically continue seeing this trend that we have been seeing, more people will get into the market. And it's just a mathematical thing. If Bitcoin goes to half a million dollars during this cycle, a lot of people will have a crazy level of FOMO and they'll go, I should have... I should have gotten it before. What am I waiting for? And then they enter into the market right now. This is kind of the loop. And it's the same exact thing. If we get to a million dollar Bitcoin, people will go, I need fragments of it before it ends up going to $10 million. Bitcoin goes to $16 million. I need to buy as much fragments as I... That You get the general idea. Jack Dorsey, co-founder of Twitter and prominent Bitcoin advocate, shared his bold predictions for the future of Bitcoin during an interview when he was in Tuscany, bougie. Dorsey believes that Bitcoin is on the brink of transitioning from merely a store of value to becoming a widely adopted permissionless currency around the world. According to Dorsey, this shift is expected to unfold over the next decade and a half Gradually changing public perceptions and demonstrating the system's inherent value. We are actually seeing a huge portion of this happening right now. I am, I cannot tell you, I am near elated that we no longer get like Bitcoin criminal, Bitcoin evil, Bitcoin being used by Dr. Evil, and all these other kinds of news stories that we used to get before as Bitcoin has become relatively legitimized by the institutions who have entered into the space. I see a lot of people talking about getting into Bitcoin and thinking about Bitcoin, even like small allocation, I mean like a couple hundred dollars, just based off of hearing it from another friend or even having read something that said that Bitcoin could be the answer to inflation and to all these other kinds of things. If you, if you missed some of the other videos that we had here before, we're getting a lot of like decade price prediction. So we, we already have a multitude of where Bitcoin is going to be next year, where Bitcoin is going to be in four and a half years by 2030. But we're getting a lot of like 2035 news and stuff like that now. And the for those of you who don't know the numbers, a lot of people are predicting like a, like a tens of millions of dollar uh, price for Bitcoin. I'll, I'll say it as 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 a point. Having been in this market for so long, I think that this is where 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 we're going. I know it. Sometimes it sounds insane, and a lot of times I have to try and rationalize myself, my thoughts on the cryptocurrency market and where I think prices are going to go. But the way that everything is lining up as I said before, it doesn't seem random to me. It seems like everything is gearing up in this kind of like perfect digital storm for Bitcoin to be widely adopted, for Bitcoin to be viewed as a, like a, like a high class item, like something that only the wealthy own and other people continue to buy you know, in 10 years as much Bitcoin as they can to be like part of the 1% of the 1%. Yeah, I mean, everything seems to be like falling in place. And this is why a lot of times you'll notice like if prices are up or prices are down, I'm not really like hyper phased. I may be annoyed some days, but it doesn't like stop my perception of where the market is going and where it's going to go and how much money people are going to make. The other weird thing is, is that like, I feel like it's all coming true. And as I still try to remain an advocate for like more Bitcoin for the people, I think we're kind of near the point where, I mean, if you look at the numbers, all the Bitcoin being absorbed is by like the wealthiest people on the planet. If prices go down, they use it as an opportunity to like flush people out of the market. And it's a gigantic shame because... I personally think people who hold crypto in the future are going to be incredibly wealthy. 50,000 Bitcoin went from being $3 million to it was like $2.7 billion 
or, or, or something like that. And this is where I think personally everything is is going. If we continue seeing more and more people as we have all the time get into this market, a lot of people believe that this bull run cycle, so by the end of 2025, that we'll see over a billion people actually in the market. That's insane to think about. It's been such a short period of time. And also, even if you think about it, the next decade isn't that far off. Not trying to rush time, but it's not that far off. If we get to the next 10 to 15 years and Bitcoin is worth $20 million, like how will you react? Will you be upset? Will you be happy? Will you think I should have bought more? Because I think a large, large portion of the planet is going to be quite annoyed. I told you I have a friend. Um, he told me that he's been telling his family about Bitcoin for as long as he possibly could. And none of them are listening to him. So he's actually like buying Bitcoin all the time and making sure to like put, a, uh, almost said Atoshis, to put Satoshis aside for them as well. Because he's like, if we get to these crazy numbers in the future, my family is going to, you know, they're not going to have any money. But he's like, I'm trying to make sure that I at least have something for them should the dollar basically hit the fan. Yeah. So, like I said, we're getting a lot of these now. We're getting a lot of, like, next decade, next 15 years. Bitcoin's going to be doing this. Collapse of the U.S. dollar news as of late. Once again, I don't know if it's organic or where exactly it's coming from. But it's getting pretty intense because the U.S. dollar is also not doing too hot. Yeah. I do hope that you've all enjoyed. I do hope that you left a like. If I get 9,000 likes on this, this will, I mean, it will make my year because I usually get like like 400 or something like that. So science experiment. I do hope you've all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, wherever the heck you might be. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.